All right, everyone. The House and uh, Republicans have officially opened an inquiry into Joe Biden to try to, you know, scrap together enough information to uh, justify an impeachment vote. Uh, here's my thing. Donald Trump was impeached twice for literally nothing, including for reasons that we now understand objectively to be fraudulent. The House Republicans are a bunch of complete cucks. If the Democrats could hold the line long enough to impeach Orange Man over the fake Steele dossier shit and all of the other problems that they had with him, why can't you impeach one of the most desperately despised presidents of the last century? Joe Biden is an abysmal failure. His, his, he's tanked completely. Even a lot of liberals don't particularly like him. More than half of them don't even want him to run again. Are you really incapable of impeaching Joe Biden? Look. Here's the long and, long and short of it. We know that Joe Biden lied to the American public during the 2020 election. We know this. We have him on record making statements that we now know to be false. He lied to the U.S. public. By the way, again, there are liberals that have buyer's remorse as a result of this. We know this. That we need no further evidence. You don't even need to have an inquiry. The House, number two, point number two, is capable of impeaching Joe Biden without any reason whatsoever. Again, fake news was the reason for the impeachment of Donald Trump, for the pr first impeachment. The second impeachment was due to him supposedly trying to overthrow the government, even though, again, that is objectively false. No court case has been successfully launched alleging that Donald Trump committed insurrection or anything along those lines. There's a reason for that. He held a rally. He then left. Other people rioted. That's not insurrection. Somehow he still got impeached for this. Again, he got uh, acquitted by the Senate both times, uh, which will happen to Joe Biden too. I mean, the Senate's run by the Democrats. It is a hollow gesture. It's effectively impeachment is nothing more than the House alleging that a crime has been committed. Just fucking do it. Make it a short inquiry. Lay it out to the American people in black and white very briefly. Hey, here's Joe. Here's what you do. And I don't know if the House Republicans are intelligent enough to do this. Here's how I would handle it. Get a clip of Joe Biden saying that he didn't talk to Hunter's business partners. Then make a little reel with pictures of him meeting with the business partners and the email showing that Hunter was quite deliberately setting up phone calls between Joe and these business partners. Show people the goddamn checks from China, call it a day, and impeach him. That's all you have to do. You could do this in a half an hour. You people are dumb. I'm not surprised. <laughs> They're Republicans. Asking Republicans to hold rank. Dude, if, if you want backup, if you want like that mafia family sort of thing, be a Democrat. Don't be a Republican. Look at what happened to George Santos only a few weeks ago and what has not happened to Bob Menendez, for an example. Democrats aren't going to get, I mean, the, 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 big, the closest they came is fucking Fetterman of all people, goddamn Lurch, who actually grew on me a little bit. And I'm like, ah. Maybe it wasn't so bad that the Pennsylvanians voted for him after all. It's not like the alternative was demonstrably, terribly better. <laughs> Mad Hoss, the car salesman. Christ almighty, the Republicans are a mess. Uh, trolling him with a cameo video from George Santos. That's the closest you've come to anything happening to Bob Menendez. I mean, the Republicans, they've got the votes. You hold the House. All you have to do is explain to members of the party, look, we need to impeach this bastard because he clearly lied to people. It's objective. You've got him on tape saying these things, and you've got emails and pictures of him doing something other than he said that he did. You know that he got laundered money. We're not stupid. Everybody knows it. It's just that half the population has cognitive dissonance, thinks orange man bad, or has a D after their name, and so they don't give a goddamn hell. They don't care that Joe Biden broke the law, but they know that he did. Now, I mean, in all honesty, every politician breaks the law. It's just differential enforcement and investigation, uh, you know, uh, at some point comes into play. Well, this politician's playing nicely. We're not going to look into their financial returns. Even though we know their insider trading embezzled millions of dollars from their campaign funds and shit, uh, we just won't look into it. We're not going to charge them. That person didn't toe the line. We're going to investigate them for the next two years to find out if they jaywalked at some point. That's what happens within politics. It's what happens within the, the so-called justice system regularly to normal people. Liberals, by the way, self-admit to this. Oh my God, you know, these cops would never have uh, charged him with this meaningless crime if his skin weren't black. 
Yeah, no shit, dude. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> it happens in politics, too. You think that it doesn't trickle up as well as down? Absolutely. Just impeach him. It's not going to mean anything at the end of the day. It is simply the House alleging a crime. You've got, like, now a four-vote majority in the House. So if you have only a couple of fickle Republicans, you probably can't pull it off. Only the GOP, of all political goddamn parties in the world, would not be able to pull off something as simple as when they have someone dead to rights on tape lying to people on multiple occasions, when they have evidence of the current administration tampering with the election, which they do, when they have evidence that that, uh, that, that uh, administration went behind the American public's back to use private industry to try to censor people's lawful political opinions, you have everything. If you can't pull this off, the GOP doesn't deserve to survive as a political party. I'll support Trump, and I'll support a few forward-thinking Republicans, people like Massey and Rand Paul who aren't cucks, but by and large, I hold them in goddamn contempt. Not because their outwardly stated ideology is not necessarily something that I couldn't tolerate, they're exceptions, of course, but because you're just so stupid. You're just so poor at making your case to the American people, and so poor at the follow-through. Again, this would be a cut and dry goddamn case. You think that the Democrats, roles reverse, there's a Republican in office, including a unipartyist, and they've got a four-vote majority. Do you think they would even have an inquiry? They would have already impeached by now. If this were a Republican in office, they would have been impeached. I guarantee it. They would have had no problem holding their ground and holding a vote in which 100% of the House Dems would vote for it. The impeachment wouldn't mean anything in the end, politically speaking, but the evidence is there. I mean, at least you'd have evidence, unlike when you impeach Trump a couple times, there were some Republicans that voted for that too. You're saying that there are Republicans in the House that would vote to impeach Trump on false pretenses, but they're not willing to impeach Joe Biden for something you can objectively prove with video evidence? This is like if you have video evidence of somebody breaking into the store and stealing a bunch of liquor. When they are prosecuted, it's basically a cut and dry case. They're going to try to get a settlement. You've got them on camera. The video camera clearly shows this individual smashed through the window, grabbed a dozen bottles of whiskey, and left the store. You know that they're guilty. Basically, now it's just a matter of, hey, are we going to spend the next month litigating this, running, running, uh, doing, uh, wasting people's time, or is there just going to be a settlement so we can just go before the judge and an hour later we've got everything cleared out and you know, they pay a fine or something like that? That's basically, and that's basically the equivalent of what you could have here. The House GOP can impeach, but they can't remove from office. The Senate has to vote to remove from office. You don't have the votes there. Uh, but the impeachment is, is effectively nothing more than you giving Joe Biden the slap on the wrist that he deserves for lying to people. He lied to the entire public. We know this. Fuck the inquiry. I mean, I'm glad that they belatedly, they finally at least hold the inquiry, but it's basically like, okay, you're edging yourself, but you don't ever intend to ejaculate. The hell's wrong with you people? That's about all. Peace out.